don't want to keep this little guy. He's so freaking cute, huh? Okay. Get a little yeah, Get a little terrarium. Today's DUI by the big guy is how to change a bent. <laughs> now that what doesn't that doesn't happen because of anger or on purpose. That happens because we live in Arctic Minnesota, where right now it's unquestionably calm, which is kind of unnerving. Anyways, makes me think there's a tornado coming again. But uh, usually the wind just rips the door out of your hand, especially this past winter. So this is what we're gonna do. We gotta fix that. Okay, it won't shut all the way. The cat keeps trying to escape. So it's really simple, really easy. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this to start with. And I'll set the camera up over here. Oh, this is what we're gonna replace it with. This is what can easily be bought at Home Depot. And I bought the heavy duty, cause we live in Arctic Minnesota, okay? So cut that open. I won't show you that. Just cut that open and get everything out. And then I will meet you at the door. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you something else. This stuff comes with, I call it a sprocket, but it's actually a, um, what's it called? It's some kind of shock. Uh, I call it a sprocket for some reason, anyways. That's what I grew up calling it. Um, inside of here comes with screws, um, the pins necessary, and if you're gonna replace the whole bracket assembly in the back, you can do that as well. All we're gonna do, this is a five minute change, hopefully five minutes, we're going to just replace the sprocket because that's the only thing that's damaged, okay? So let's get on it. Open that stuff. Open the door. Go ahead and pinch the door so it can't close anymore. Use this thing that's all bent. Okay, take the pressure off the pin right here. Push the pin up, pull it out. That's too easy, right? Push this pin up, pull it out. Too easy, right? Okay, now we're gonna reuse those pins. We're not gonna use the new ones, just might as well. Is that loose? Yeah, that's loose. So while I'm here, hopefully you have a screw gun. 
Where'd the door go? Where'd the door go? See, I'm just, that's, that's what I'm talking about, living in Minnesota. The wind just takes it away. Phillips head, I think. We're just gonna tighten it. There's usually two screws in there. Let's tighten them both. That should be good now. Now all you do, oh, you got to put this piece back on, or uh, back on. You got to put it on. This little, the brake. Hope you guys can hear me. I don't have my mic on. This is the brake that holds the door open. So you need to put that on, and you're going to put it with the, can you see that? The L facing the sprocket, not away from the, away from the hinge, but towards the sprocket. Now you see how this is, you can't do anything with that. Well, what are we going to do? It's, you can't pull it out. Well, let me show you a little trick. Put this in here like this, put the pin in so that it's flush and then pull it out. It's not that hard to pull and then put the brake on it. There you go. Done. And you're all worried you couldn't do it. And this just goes back on here like this. I believe it goes on the second one. I think that was on the first one. We'll do it the same way. We don't want to have any problems. Just got to line up the hole. There you go. That's done. Let's test it. Now, sometimes you have to uh, adjust the sprocket because there's too much tension in the, on the sprocket. <laughs> People are going to yell at me on YouTube. I know it. They're calling out the wrong name. That's too much tension. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this. Whoa, relax. Put it on release. And we're going to release some of that air out of there. And we're going to test it. Stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Maybe you should put it on the first one. So it was an easy fix, didn't I? I lied. I lied. I always wear gloves because that grease is, gets all over everywhere. I'm sticking on something. What am I sticking on? Oh, this thing. Well, let's move this over. It's probably stopping it right here. Sometimes you run into issues like this, you just gotta improvise. Get that out. Save the pin. Oh god, this really hurts my knees. Freaking A. Let's move that. Let's move this over. That's what it is. If that works, I'm gonna go ahead and put another screw in there. And I brought the drill bit just in case I need to do that. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just in case that's the issue. You put a screw in there, an extra screw in there, you just... Create a hole. 
pile hole. And then I believe it's the smaller screws. These smaller screws right here. Come on, wind. Work with me here. There you go. That don't hold it in place. Just give up. Just throw it all in the garbage. Just kidding. Maybe I have, do I have this thing on backwards? I might have that on backwards. I don't think I do. Let me get up first. Oh, oh. you need replacement, here I come. There we go. There we go. Test it again. Yes, I might put a little bit, I need a little more tension on it. So I'm gonna, uh, Make sure this is turning to the right, tighten. We're gonna just tighten a little bit. You don't have to do it, just a little bit will do you. A little dab will do you. If you do a lot, you're gonna let all the air out, or too much air. You know what I'm saying. Maybe just a little bit more. Just a skosh more. Oh, that might be too much. Hey, look at that. That's what you want. You want it to be able to catch itself before it slams. Slamming screen door is not a good, it's not good for the hinges. It's not good for the frame. It's not good for anything. You don't want the door to slam. See how it catches itself? Perfect. There you go. Big DIY guy. How to change a sprocket, even though that's the wrong name. Love y'all. Be good to each other. I'm gonna, I want to add one more thing. If I can get the camera to cooperate. Hold on. Yeah, this is my shop, dirt, shop, shop room, so it's a very dirty floor. Don't look at it. It's gross. This rug, another reason why I put the shop in here. One of the reasons I put the shop in here is because uh, they're gonna replace this rug. And this was already like this before I got here, so. I didn't do this mess. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm gonna tell you guys is always keep your um, hardware. Don't throw it all away. Uh, you could probably throw that away. That's pretty much useless for anybody. So that could probably be tossed. If you can take this thing off right here, I would. I would save that because that one could break, and then you'd be you know have to buy a whole new whole new uh, set. Set. Here's the extra pin. Save all that. See all this? That's trash. Oh, let me save this. I'll try. So I would save all this stuff in a bag or a box or something. And if you're like me, you got a place in your shop or a hardware drawer or something, just right on here. Um, what is this called? Storm door closer. It's not even, it doesn't even say sprocket. What is the name of this? What is it called? You guys are going to give me so much crap about this. Some type of hydraulic. <laughs> piston. Piston, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, right? Uh, storm door or screen door um, supplies or whatever. You know, label it. And then put this in your hardware drawer. To keep that just in case something else breaks. I mean, say as you trip the hardware store, and for me, it's an hour each way. So, all right, that's trash. That's trash. We'll pick it up. Now I gotta get back out to the camper and get to work. About to hit the road pretty soon, guys. Can't wait. All right, guys. Big DIY guy here. Helping you guys out. Changing a sprocket for a screen door. Love y'all. Be good to each other. Talk to you soon. See you in the shop. Oh, oh God. Oh, my knees. Lord, help me. Lord. Oh, that floor is so gross.
I'm embarrassed. Okay, big DIY guy here. I want to add one thing to the video. I'm about to uh, edit and send up up to the cloud, <laughs> up to the YouTube cloud. Uh, just a close up of the of the the shock sprocket, whatever you want to call it, the cylinder. Um, it does. It even some of them even tell you where it needs to go. It'll tell you uh, where to put um, where to put the pins. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm trying to hold the door with my foot and it's not working. Well, why don't you just use the? In case you guys don't know how to use this thing. Oh, hello, mosquito. Go away. In case you guys don't know how to use this, you put the door to where you want it to be open. Okay. Ouch. Put the door to where you want it to be open, and then take this little doohickey right here. Slide it all the way to the end. And it holds it in place. Let go of your foot. Let go of your hand. Holds it in place. When you want to release it, push against it to open a little bit. Now the tension's released off the angle and slide it back. Okay? Believe it or not, my wife didn't know how to use this thing till I showed her. <laughs> Can you believe that? Shh, don't tell her I told you that she didn't know that. She'll be mad at me. All right, anyways. Back to this thing. This thing will actually tell you, uh, if you look at it, it tells you where to put the pin. Let's look at the wind pushing the door. This is what we deal with up here. Okay, so if you got a screen panel, you want to put it on this one, and I didn't put it on that one, so we need to change it. And if you got a, a glass, actually, we, excuse me, we do have the glass in it, so that's why I put it there. It's This is stronger. Okay, so we put it in the right one. See down there, if you do it like that, that's for the glass one. And you see I got this big piece of glass in here. It's, it's open right now, but if it was just a screen door, I would shift it, put the pin in the right place. But for us, we have the glass piece in there, which I like to close sometimes because of the weather. Um, all right, what I'm trying to show you today is all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, okay? Phillips head screwdriver. And close up of what I showed you on my video was this screw head right here, this Phillips head screw head. If you want to add tension to the door, if your door doesn't close all the way, you're going to turn it to the clockwise. Turn it to the clockwise. You can turn it to the, to the right clockwise. That adds tension to it, okay? That adds pressure to the... You're creating more pressure inside that cylinder, so it'll shut harder, okay? If you, if you need it to shut less, you're going to turn it to the left. I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. Good. I'm a, I'm a special person. You're going to turn it to the left. You're going to turn it clock counterclockwise all right let me show you that again if it's got if it does if it doesn't have enough power to shut all the way you're going to turn it to the right clockwise clack, 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 clockwise okay now if it does have enough power and it has too much power and you need to like i did remember i loosened it all you can do is turn it counterclockwise to the left okay I put it right back where I had it, I think. So let's see if the door shuts properly. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Sorry about that. that. Show you what I'm doing. Take the tension off the door, slide the angle piece back. I guess that's called the brake. I like to put it all the way to the end there. And with the door shut. That's still perfect. That's what you want. You want it to. If it slams really hard, and it's right there, BAM! Slams really hard, that's too much tension in there. Okay, loosen it up. Turn it counterclockwise, turn it to the left, and loosen it up, like I did in the project I showed you, okay? That's your simple door maintenance. Um, sometimes you just need to go in there and adjust that after the winter, after it's been blowing around for a while sometimes you just need to adjust that sometimes you need to uh, adjust the pin like I just showed you for the screen door that you're gonna be putting in if you take this out and put a screen door in um, all right all right guys that's it just want to add that to the video love you all be good to each other have a good night talk to you soon